One of the most deadliest ants in the world is the driver ants. Driver ant. One of the most terrifying species of all the species on earth is the driver ant. These Central and East African natives are called the safari ant, or the Siafu ant in Swahili. They have giant heads and giant jaws. They form massive swarms and will kill you. How long would it take to die by being staked to an ant colony? It depends on the ant. Some, like the Maricopa harvester ant, will kill you fast by poison, it only takes a few hundred stings for this ant to kill a human compared to 1500 for honeybees, assuming you are not allergic, and once one stings you, the others will follow they smell the alarm pheromones in the sting, so death will be fast. Some, like the bullet ant, are not so toxic but much more painful. You will likely pass out from pain after the worst imaginable hour of your life and then succumb to dehydration or shock. That goes for many of the other ants too. The only ant that could potentially devour you is Siafu, the African driver ant. They are not as bad as they are in the movies Indiana Jones 4, but are known or at least rumored to have killed infants. The issue is that you are not moving, so they can attack you and you can't do anything. However, even a whole Siafu colony won't reduce you to bone like piranhas, you're too big and moist and warm and they're not interested in taking you down. They will assume you are a threat, not a food, and even after you die they may ignore you, as ants are not usually attracted to large mammal cadavers compared to, say, corpse flies. The main cause of death from such treatment overall won't be venom or getting eaten, it will be dehydration, starvation, or infection-related issues like gangrene or septic shock. These are slow deaths, taking days. The ants won't be as big of a problem as the flies that will flock towards your body and the inevitable pile of dung that is gathering below you, and possibly laying eggs in your wounds and orifices. It is a slow and painful death, taking days. Imagine being attacked by a living raft of ants that can put you in the hospital, or even kill you. Fire ants are an invasive species, initially brought to the US from South America in the 1930s. Since then they have spread north to much of the southeastern United States. And this time of year they are mating, a ritual done in mid-air. During floods, entire fire ant colonies can huddle together to form rafts that stay afloat for weeks. In August of 2008, a man walking his dog after flooding rains in Chulwoda, in eastern Florida encountered a colony of fire ants. He was swarmed and immediately went into anaphylactic shock. At the hospital the man was pronounced dead. In June 2006, Janet Chiansky, a 68-year-old South Carolina woman, went into anaphylactic shock and died after being attacked by fire ants while she was gardening, according to ABC News. Several ants ran up her sneaker and stung her foot. Her husband brushed them off and treated the stings with ammonia. When he went back to check on her a few minutes later he found her lying unconscious in bed with her sunglasses still on. At the hospital, doctors found that her brain had begun to swell. She died the next day. It's a severe allergic reaction, explained entomologist Mike Ropp. Throats swell up and people literally suffocate. Fortunately, most people... Deadly ants in Australia. Fire ants have something of a cousin in Australia's jackjumper ant, which is most common in southeastern Australia and Tasmania, where it kills more people annually than spiders, snakes, wasps, and sharks combined. The ants can be an inch long, are red, and black with yellow and orange legs and when disturbed will jump, hence their name. Jackjumper ant nests are often hidden under rocks. They don't bite but sting their victims with venom, similar to a wasp or bee. The reaction is akin to that of the fire ant, 
localized swelling and reddening develops, followed by white pustules and blistering. For those who are allergic the airways may close, resulting in death. Deadly Ants in Africa But the most fearsome ant of all is surely Siafu, or the African Safari Ant, also known as the Army Ant. These ants are native to Central and East Africa and form colonies with as many as 20 million individuals. The ants are most dangerous to humans during times of drought. They will form columns 50 million strong and strike off across the countryside in search of food. The columns are easily avoided, as they go at a pace of about 60 feet an hour. The columns are defended by a special soldier class of ants. They have gigantic heads with large pincer-like mandibles with incredible shearing capacity. The bite is very painful, and because their jaws are so strong removal is difficult. Even if the ant is pulled apart into two pieces the head will retain its hold. Though the ants typically feed on earthworms, large columns can kill small mammals and eat their flesh. For those things unable to move, like say a home, the result can be devastating, or incredibly helpful, as the ants will literally eat everything edible in their path. When they reached a home, they would enter and swarm all over the inside of the house, explained one Texas blogger, who spent more than 10 years living in East Africa. They would eat everything in sight that moved. They ate very little of our regular food, but they would eat all mice, scorpions, spiders, etc. They would kill and eat dogs and cats if they were trapped in the house also. Interestingly, the Maasai people actually rely on the ants to rid their fields and homes of pests. Families living in dwellings in the way of advancing ant columns will simply vacate their home for several days. Missionaries living in Africa used to do the same thing. They would be done and move on in as little as two days, explained the Texas blogger, and when the missionaries moved back in, the house would be free of varmints for a long time. Other indigenous groups in East Africa use the amazing bite capabilities of solider ants to stitch wounds, by allowing the ants to bite each side of the gash, creating a natural form of stitches. Driver ants are those army ant species in the Afrotropical subgenus Dorylus, Anama, that hunt by massive swarm raids on the forest floor and up in the vegetation. Any animal capable of moving fast enough and lacking other effective protective mechanisms flees from such an advancing swarm of hundreds of thousands or even millions of ant workers in search of prey. Hence the raid swarm drives many animals before it. Due to their ferocious nature, these ants are recognized by their own name in many tribal languages in sub-Saharan Africa. In Ghana, for example, they are called Nkran in the Chui language. In Kenya, people in the Meru tribe use the term Thuraka for them. Their common English name was originally coined in 1847 by Dr. Thomas Savage in the description of his observations of D. A. Nigrican's colonies in present-day Liberia. Although other authors have subsequently applied the term to all species in the subgenus Anama, as currently recognized, or even to all species in driver ants attack. Using their powerful cutting jaws, driver ants attack everything in their path, including snakes, birds, mammals, and even human beings. There, there are generally three castes, or classes, within a colony, queens, males, and workers. Some species live in the nests of other species as parasites. In these species the parasite larvae are given food and nourishment by the host workers. Wheelariella santgii is a parasite in the nests of Monomorium salomonis, the most common ant of northern Africa. The life cycle of the ant has four stages, including egg, larva, pupa, and adult, and spans a period of 8 to 10 weeks. The queen spends her life laying eggs. The workers are females and do the work of the colony, with larger individuals functioning as soldiers who defend the colony. At certain times of the year, 
many species produce winged males and queens that fly into the air, where they mate. The male dies soon afterward, and the fertilized queen establishes a new nest. Dorylus, also known as driver ants, safari ants, or Siafu, is a large genus of army ants found primarily in Central and East Africa, although the range also extends to Southern Africa and Tropical Asia. The term Siafu is a loan word from Swahili too and is one of numerous similar words from regional Bantu languages used by indigenous peoples to describe various species of these ants. Unlike the New World members of the former subfamily Isotonini, now Dorilini, members of this genus form temporary subterranean bivouacs in underground cavities which they excavate and inhabit, either for a few days or up to three months. Also unlike some New World army ants, driver ants are not specialized predators of other species of ant, instead being more generalistic with a diet consisting of a diversity of arthropods. Colonies are enormous compared to other army ants and can contain over 20 million individuals. As with their American counterparts, workers exhibit caste polymorphism with the soldiers having particularly large heads that power their scissor-like mandibles. They are capable of stinging, but very rarely do so, relying instead on their powerful shearing jaws. Three driver ant queens are the largest living ants known, with the largest measuring between 40 to 63 millimeters, 1.5 to 2.4 inches, in total body length depending on their physiological condition. Seasonally, when food supplies become short, they leave the hill and form marching columns of up to 50 million ants, which are considered a menace to people, though they can be easily avoided, a column can only travel about 20 meters in an hour. It is for those unable to move, or when the columns pass through homes, that there is the greatest risk 5 their presence is, conversely, beneficial to certain human communities, such as the Mosse, as they perform a pest prevention service in farming communities, consuming the majority of other crop pests, from insects to large rats. 6 For example, driver ants prey on larvae of the African sugar cane borer, a pest moth in sub-Saharan Africa. The characteristic long columns of ants will fiercely defend themselves against anything that attacks them. Three columns are arranged with the smaller ants being flanked by the larger soldier ants. These instinctively take up positions as sentries, and set a perimeter corridor through which the smaller ants can run safely. Their bite is severely painful, each soldier leaving two puncture wounds when removed. Removal is difficult, however, as their jaws are extremely strong, and one can pull a soldier ant in two without it releasing its hold. Large numbers of ants can kill small or immobilized animals and strip them to husks. A large part of their diet is earthworms. All Dorylus species are blind, and, like most varieties of ants, communicate primarily through pheromones. In the mating season, alates, winged drones, queens of driver ant species do not grow wings, are formed. The drones are larger than the soldiers and the queens are even larger. Driver ants do not perform a nuptial flight, but mate on the ground and the queens go off to establish new colonies. As with most ants, workers and soldiers are sterile females, and so do not reproduce. Male driver ants, sometimes known as sausage flies, a term also applied to males of New World Dory lines, due to their bloated, sausage-like abdomens, are among the largest ant morphs and were originally believed to be members of a different species. Males leave the colony soon after hatching but are drawn to the scent trail left by a column of Siafu once they reach sexual maturity. When a colony of driver ants encounters a male, they tear his wings off and carry him back to the nest to be mated with a virgin queen. As with all ants, the males die shortly afterward three after mating, the queen will lay up to one million eggs per month. Such is the strength of the ants jaws that, in East Africa, they are used as natural emergency sutures. Various East African indigenous tribal peoples, e.g. Masai Moran, when suffering from a gash in the bush, will use the soldiers to stitch the wound by getting the ants to bite on both sides of the gash, then breaking off the body. This use of ants as makeshift surgical staples creates a seal that can hold for days at a time, and the procedure can be repeated, if necessary, 
allowing natural healing to commence. Several species in this genus carry out raids on termitaria, paralyzing or killing termites and carting them back to the nest aid. Colonies of driver ant species have only one queen. When she dies, the surviving workers may try to join another colony, but in other cases, when two colonies of the same driver ant species meet, they usually change the marching directions to avoid conflicts. Remember don't forget to like the video. If you like what I am doing you can subscribe to True Story.